Okay, so in this uh, video, we're going to learn how to go to a page based on a question in Google Forms. So we'll start by titling this. Let's say we'll use cell bio as a theme. Cell biology. And we'll say cell biology. And let's say this is an assignment for your classroom. And you want to add a video. Let's type in animal cell. This looks like an animal cell. And we'll say, watch the video. And then we'll give a question on this video. So let's say the video has to do with, um, like we said, this video is about an animal cell. And here's the question. We'll make it multiple choice, although you can have different options. So let's just say we're doing a multiple choice. Where is DNA stored? Now let's say uh, in the video, they will have gone over that and you want to see if your students actually know it so the first option we'll say is the right uh, we'll say uh, uh, cell membrane and then we'll say nucleus which is the correct answer cytoplasm okay so those are your four answers now let's say you want to have it where if the student chooses the right answer which is nucleus they go on to the next section. And if the student chooses the wrong answer, they have to re-watch the video and explain it in detail. So what I'll do here is I'll add a section after this. And to add a section, I'll click here, Add Section. This is the new section. And this is the section in case uh, the students picked the wrong answer, which is a cell membrane ribosomes of cyto cytoplasm. So here we'll say wrong answer is correct. And then you can add a video here on the nucleus. Let's say this one here goes a little bit into detail. We'll say watch the video. And then you'll have your students um, answer some questions here about this. Which is, the question is um, about the nucleus and I'll say describe and this is for if they get the wrong answer and now let's say they get the answer right you want to add a, a different section where they can skip this because they've already learned so you can go to add section and this will be section 3 this is section 2 so section 3 will be let's say you want to do the plant cell here you go select we'll say watch the video on and then you can add another question just to keep students going what is unique to a plant and you could say here let's say ribosomes nucleus and so you have different, so now you have different sections here, right? So here's your first section. Okay, you students will watch the video, they answer the question. Now, let's say they choose the wrong answer. The correct answer here should be nucleus. So let's say they choose cell membrane. Well, here's, here's what you could do. You could have it that, go to section based on answer here, right? So you could have it that if they choose one of these, they go to a specific section. So I'm going down here, I'm clicking on this, three dots. I'm going to do go to section based on answer. And now if they get cell membrane, that means if they get it wrong, they're going to go right to section 2 that says wrong answer. Ribosomes, section 2, wrong answer. Cytoplasm, section 2, wrong answer. And if they get the nucleus right, they could skip section 2 because they will have already learned that. And they go on to section 3. So now let's take a look at what it looks like. We'll preview this. Okay, so you start with section one. Where is DNA stored? Okay, so let's say we choose the correct answer, nucleus. We go to next. And boom, because we got it right, we go right onto the plant cell. And then you would go here and submit. Now let's go back. Let's say I chose the wrong answer this time. Let's say I chose a cell membrane. And then I do next. 
Well, some means some membranes the wrong answer, so whoop, wrong answer. Now I have to rewatch the video and answer a question. Describe what you learned. I learned nucleus stores DNA, and then you just continue. <laughs>